Hey babe. Huh? What color lipstick should I wear today? So today I have another makeup look for you guys. This one, um, I wasn't planning on having it be a St. Patrick's look, but it ended up being one. I'm really excited because I finally got to use a few colors that I was kind of hesitant to use because of, I don't know, they're just not very normal. So I'm kind of excited to do this video. Um, I hope you guys have a good St. Patrick's Day. I hope it's safe and happy and I hope that you spend it with your families and St. Patrick's Day is kind of a weird holiday just because a lot of people just like go and get wasted. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you want to see how I did this, then just keep watching. Let's do this. So I started with my usual moisturizer, Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. There's Robert. If you get ready with me, you can be in it. <laughs> and today I decided I'm going to use my Super Stay Makeup by Maybelline. It's Maybelline. And I changed my filming setup once again. Do we have any exciting news to tell them, babe? I don't even know. I've noticed my skin looks a little better. I switched my routine. I'm using the Murad Face Cleanser now. I went to Sephora and bought like the whole beginner setup thing. So I've only been using it for two days and I already see a significant change in my skin. So if you're looking for something that will like work really well, then I highly recommend it. Blonde Struggle. For concealers, I've been using my NYX HD concealer just because I ran out of my Maybelline stuff and every time I go to CVS I happen to forget. It's a little bit too light, which sucks, but just for now, just until I can get my other stuff back. And I'm just going to go over those spots again with some more foundation. The usual. Nothing overwhelming. I have a hair on my face. It's like the worst feeling in the world, having a hair in your mouth or on your face. For NRs, I'm going to do my usual Maybelline Superstay 24 hour in ivory and cream. Um, I mix them because I was too light, cream's too dark. Same, same. But I love the consistency of it. I love that it doesn't crease. I just love everything about it. And today I'm going to do a little more highlighting on my face, so I'm just going to do a little bit down my nose. And then I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead. Not a lot though, just a little. And then I'm going to do some on my chin right here. Just so we have some highlighting going on. And then I'm going to use this. I kind of work quick because this stuff sets really fast. But if you need a new highlighting kind of concealer, I definitely recommend the Superstay. It's awesome. It works all day. <clears throat> it doesn't move and it gives you that nice highlighted effect without it being crazy, crazy. And blend, 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 blend. So I'm going to set my under eyes with the Physician's Formula Mineral World Talc Free Correcting Powder. It's like literally white. Um, I ran out of my usual, so that's why I'm using this today. But um, for those of you who want to keep that really light under eye, this will definitely do the trick. I just poked my eyeball. For the rest of my face, I'm going to set it with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus. I really like to use this powder in the summertime because it really keeps my makeup in place. I don't have to worry about it moving at all. Recently, I bought the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. And I've been using it lately, trying to get used to using something else besides a pencil. And I really, really have been liking it. So I'm just going to show you guys kind of how I do it. Um, I feel like it's pretty the same as everybody, but I'm just going to show you guys so you can kind of have a reference. Because I haven't really done an updated brow routine in a while anyways. So um, basically, I just I use the brush that I bought the brush for it. It's the... Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush. I don't know. And I just start at the bottom of my eyebrow and work my way up. So. I 
Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, brows are done. We're moving on to eyeballs. As always, Prime, Urban Decay, Primer Potion. So today, just to be a little different and exciting, I'm going to start off with my um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to put it on my lid, mainly on the outside, on the outer corner, and just a little bit on the inner corner. And I'm just going to blend that in. I don't have to be super precise with this because we're just going to go over it with color. So it doesn't really matter if it's perfect. So first I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie. Obviously by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to put it in the crease. And I'm going to blend it up and over. I'm going to keep most of the color on the outside. The darkest of the color on the outside. Okay, so I'm going to go in, I think with Max Carbon. It's a black, really black eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna use a flat shader brush for this. And you will probably get some fallout, so be careful. And I'm just going to put it on the outer third of my eye. But I'm gonna try to not put it so much in the, right here, um, on the lid. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it above the lid. I'm going to go in with Envy by Makeup Geek, but this is like such a pretty color. I'm just going to pat it along the black. And just connect any black with the green. So first I'm going to go in with a dense blending brush to disperse the color quickly. And I'm going to first kind of chip away at the black. I will say that Makeup Geek eyeshadows blend like a hundred times easier than MAC ones do. Just like that. And then you're gonna go back in with the green. Envy. And you're just gonna dab it again on the eyelid. It's like such a pretty like forest color. So to kind of calm down that black, you're going to go in with like a brownish. It'll play the black down and it'll also blend better. So I'm just going to go in with Mocha from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to start on the outer and kind of blend with a big fluffy brush. And the browns will play in really nice with the green. I'm going to use Virgin in the Naked One. I'm going to put it in the corner of my eye to bring a little bit of lightness. For the bottom of my eye, I'm going to go in with Envy again. And I'm going to do it lightly underneath my eye. Oh. 
Today I'm going to use Max Coal Liner um, in Black Russian. And I'm just going to line my waterline with that. As usual, I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It's my favorite. I literally will use it every day for the rest of my life. Highlight on your brow bone. I'm going to just be using Virgin from the Naked One because it's subtle and it won't bring too much attention to the top of the eye. Just enough. Just to make the eye a little bit lighter, I'm going to go in with Graffiti. I don't even know what palette this is, just by Urban Decay. <laughs> but it looks like this. And I'm just going to put that only in the center of the eye. Just to kind of lighten it up a little bit, because it is pretty dark. I'm just going to lightly tap it in the center. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I got a sample of it and I haven't tried it yet, so kind of want to just give it a whirl. Okay, now that eyes are done, I'm going to do contour, blush, and highlight. Okay, for contour, I'm going to be using my usual, the e.l.f. contour, or no, blush and bronzing powder. Do the forehead. And then for blush, I'm just going to use the one that's in here today because I didn't bring any other ones in. <laughs> I'm just going to do a light kind of dusting of it because everything else is so intense on my face. I don't want to be like overdrive, you know what I mean? And then for um, highlight, I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer <clears throat> by The Bomb just on the cheekbone, like the top part of the cheekbone and then down the brim of the nose I'm going to put some too I'm going to go on with a super light lipstick today because my eyes are kind of like screaming at the world so I'm just going to line with the NYX Wonder Pencil I'm just going to take a little bit of gloss to put in the middle for kind of like a focal point. <laughs> 